to see if I can dig deeper into the way I listen to a record and see where it takes me. Once it was uh, explained to me what the project was about and how I had to take a track uh, and <clears throat> how to take orchestrated music and create a track and then send it to Steven for the, the Berkeley College of Music Orchestra. How do you say it? The Berkeley Orchestra? Orchestra? We're calling it the Berkeley Symphony Orchestra. Berkeley, right? yeah. So for, to get the Berkeley, Berkeley Symphony Orchestra to take over from where I, where I started off, um, <clears throat> they gave me a library that where we get, where everything was clearable. So, you know, we wouldn't have to worry about sample clearances. It was all stuff that was, quote, unquote, public domain. But it was hundreds and hundreds of different things. So I just started taking pieces to piece it together in a sequence where... It sounded like an orchestra was doing a, a, a you know, a, a, a symphony uh, piece from scratch, from intro to outro. Mm -hmm. And then there was a certain parts where, like, when I heard certain horns, like the da 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 da, -da I said, well, I should put a, a little kick in the snare there. Mm -hmm. And I just started constructing that. Then I sent it to Steven. And then they added the rest of the orchestrated parts over that, then sent it back to me. And then I had to, you know, completely make it one full piece. And then that's when they decided to get an MC on it. And since I was on tour with Nas for the Rock the Bells tour, uh, DJing for, for his Illmatic segment, <clears throat> they said, why don't we get him? Yeah. And he was with it. Yeah, Nas in the building, premieres in the building. Yeah. So when you got the yeah. piece stuff that he pieced together, yeah. what's going on in your mind from, you know, a professional musician and possibly right. trained? Right. What's going on in your mind as far as what he liked? You know, it, it occurred to me, first off, as soon as I heard it, I got it. You know, it was kind of funny because I think there was a lot of emails running around, um, we, you know, where, where people were saying, you know, because a lot of people had heard it and, and, uh, and were saying, gosh, is this going to work, you know? But as soon as I heard what, what Premier had put together, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever heard before because he's actually taking recordings of, of orchestras and putting them together in a, in a whole new way, mm -hmm. which you know a lot of people would think is you know sacrilegious or something like that. Yeah. Um, I think what they were expecting him to do was you know just make a beat and kind of fly in some orchestra stuff, and he didn't do that. You know, he, t he t took an entirely different approach. Yeah. So I was kind of the one saying, "No, this is I get this." Music changes and evolves. It always will change and evolve. It's never going to be the same. With music, there'll always be the opportunity for new and great things to come out. That's what I feel like I'm good at, is taking things that weren't intended to go together. So basically I sat down and I orchestrated uh, all the way through the orchestra. The live orchestra is actually, you know, really prominent, mixed together with the samples of the, you know, not the samples, well they are samples, but the, the, the segments of orchestra that, that Premier had put together and dropped. So it's, you know, from... You can tell from the video, but from the uh, from the audio, it's hard to tell. And what we kind of did, we kind of put it on its head. We use the live orchestra a lot of times as the main rhythmic part. So the orchestra is actually providing the beat, and you know, and and the uh, and the recorded stuff is is doing something else. Um, and then of course, you know, Premier scratched on it, you know, and, and and just took it to the next level. And you know, putting all this together, this is. This is kind of where I've been living the last 10 years or so. I've been, you know, in the classical world, and I also started really getting into hip hop and turntablism okay. back in the 90s. Wrote a piece called the Stylus Symphony, which is actually just dropping, where I'm doing a lot of melody work on the turntable. So for me to have, you know, somebody with the stature of DJ Premier and his ideas, you know, to, for me, I, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm a classical guy kind of approaching hip hop, okay. and of course Premier is. Is, hip is a hip-hop guy approaching classical yeah. so you know yeah the two of us together is like it was a lot of fun yeah. man. Well, there's not a sound that we can't make there's not a beat that we can't create there's not an artist we can't record now what I was having a hard time visualizing a fusion of my style with that sound are we ready to start communicating here I'd rather just do it my way I know they're so used to in classical music. It's such a structure how songs are constructed. Right. So how did they take getting out of the structure of how to approach and you know a song? A Man, song. they loved it. They love Berkeley is probably. I mean, it was the. It was a stroke of genius to ask the Berkeley, you know, symphony orchestra to do this because it, Berkeley is the one place in the world where you've got classical music, but you've got hip hop, you've got jazz, you got bluegrass, you got world music. You know, so these kids, you know, most of them, 
are fabulous classical musicians, but at the same time, you know, grew up listening to all sorts of different styles, yeah. you know, and so they were just, they were very jazzed to have DJ Premier yeah. in the house, you yeah. know, and it was just a, you know, it was like a, yeah, it was a, yeah. a field day. So then you, you did the conducting, I see, how was that for you? I see that you were kind of little, like, tap, 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 that's yeah. why it was so funny when you explained that he explained to you about that Oh, the shut the so, fuck yeah, up? Yeah. <laughs> that was how my fault. How was that for you, like, taking it I mean, it, it, it was dope because, again, when we were filming that day, I knew that I was going to learn how to conduct, but I didn't know that that was the day. I thought that I was just meeting the orchestra and watching them play the parts that he needed to fly in to, to fix and to make some adjustments when we were recording. So I thought that's all we were going to do. And I didn't mind so practicing. it was a rehearsal. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I didn't mind practicing. And, and he, then he goes, you're going to do it now. And yeah. I'm like, now? I, I said, like, he, he said, yeah, you're doing it now. So even though I, I, I like I was going to the bathroom trying to you know you get it down packed and then will kept showing me yeah. Yeah. he said you know I didn't know this is called your ictus where you actually hit your hand and, yeah. and well it's an imaginary hand you know, act like yeah. your hand is there and you slap yeah. the, the baton on your hand I didn't know all of that was gonna be you know taught to me and then that I, that I had to kind of focus on that yeah and, and they then really, they really pay attention to it yeah and, yeah. and yeah. I don't know if they again I haven't seen it yet so seeing everybody yeah. when I, I mean whenever I messed up I say the F word a lot so I kept oh, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't so but I'm sitting there I'm messing up going fuck you know <laughs> one two three yeah <laughs> you just put me into a whole different way of understanding how to listen this is where you come to find out how the Motown sound developed so I ain't singing it no That's more. So, okay, the question I want to ask, this whole, the reason why Hyundai put this together, regeneration of music, how important is it for us to incorporate this kind of like, this old way <clears throat> of music, and then this whole, the, and embrace the technology and, you know, go forward with it? How do you do that? Well, I mean, for, well, for one, um, we respect each other after we saw what we do in our own world. You know, like I didn't know he could DJ until I went to his class because I thought when they told me I was going to turntable class, I didn't know he was the teacher. I thought he was just going to teach me the classical part. So when I see him on the wheels, I'm like, he DJs too? And then he has notes on his pitch control. He has little notes with all the keys on it. And I'm sitting there like, yo, you know, and then he has sound library records that he pressed up that he gave me as a gift with all the different stabs and sounds. So yeah. he really knows my world. And, and again, I, I was naive to it until we got to connect. Yeah. So it shows that um, at the end of the day, we, we're, we're, we're making music grow for the world. It's not just a learning experience just for us. It's also for the people that, that see the film, the people that love what I do already. You know, some people didn't get it when I used to see comments on little blogs and mm -hmm. stuff like that. They were like, you know, our premium is selling out or whatever. And it's like, all right, you're one of those that, that'll that, that'll be a fan that I don't need anyway in the next year because I'm going to gain other people. And then I'm going to still keep my hip-hop raw, as I always do. But you should be willing to step outside of your regular boundaries and try new things in order to grow uh, if you really respect music, which yeah. we both. Being down here and having the spirit of New Orleans and the spirit of improvisation is licensed to make something that no one's ever heard before. Hey, your mama don't wear wear no draws. Draws. <laughs> We're gonna try to make some awesome hybrid of Doors and Skrillex and create something really cool. So my love for like classical music um, appreciation started in higher level education when I was in college. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I had a little, I was introduced to it you know, when I was younger, a little bit from like ballet, but it wasn't until I was kind of required to take this music appreciation class where we kind of really dived into classical music. So, you know, with arts <coughs> being kind of cut from programs, how, what is our responsibility to kind of keep this respect for arts like alive? Oh man, I, you know, yeah. I. It's so funny because every time people start talking about education reform, you know, they talk about math and science, which is important, but, you know, not at the expense of music. You know, music makes you smarter. Music helps you cognitively think in, in creative ways, you know, and, and if you look at just us as a nation, you know, our, our main export, you know, after military hardware is entertainment, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's music and that's, you know, film and all that stuff. So, you know, we, we don't need to, we need to keep that in the school. Man, we need to keep, you know, uh, making opportunities for students to learn about all styles of music, you know, and hopefully this project can be um, something that can be used to, to show that, you know, there, there really isn't, you know, 
there, there, there really aren't all these divides, you know. I mean, it's, yeah. there's categories, but it's all music, you know. Yeah. We all we speak the same language, you know. We, yeah. we, we just talk about tempo and timbre, and you know, when we were talking about the track on the phone, we had no trouble communicating because yeah. we both speak music, one you language. know. It's, it's yeah. one language, you know. And, and you see how long French and Spanish was still low. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah. So I think, yeah, so I think it's very important, you know. Awesome, to, definitely, because Mozart definitely was helped me get through statistics. So. Yeah. Oh, For absolutely. Sure. <laughs> Very mad. All right, well, Mozart was in the in, in, in front of the sample. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's all right. Well, Mozart. that's all the time we have for. Thank you guys so much, and you guys are gonna love it. I loved it so much. I can't yes. wait to see it. Yes. Wait to see it. All, right. all right. Cheers. Two, one, two, three, four. Quiet on the set.